Hi guys, and welcome back to the back room with Ron. Been cooking in the kitchen with Ron. Well, today we're going to be making blueberry almond flour pancakes today. And in our measuring bowl, we have three quarters of a cup of almond flour. And we have a little bit of baking powder and a little bit of cinnamon. And I'll put the uh, amounts over the timeline. And that's all we're going to be needing today for our dry ingredients. Now we're going to get ready to put our wet ingredients in a small blender. And wash and clean up today. And... Uh, yeah, so that's why. So you just take two eggs, crack them. I'm not, I'm not talented enough to open up an egg in one hand, so I just do it this way, and I do the best I can. It doesn't matter if they break. We, the whole key to this is when you get your batter all mixed up for a few seconds, you let it sit for at least ten minutes before you start working with it to make your pancakes. Okay, just like just, just follow what I'm doing. Two eggs. I'm trying to be careful not to get any shell in my uh, bottom of my cup. Maple syrup is sugar free. About a tablespoon. Oop, there we go. And that goes right in there. Okay, just like that. And that's what I'm using for maple syrup. I've been using this for a while now. Now, I, I would prefer the, uh, the chalk zero, but I don't have any today. And that's what the macros are in the back of this. It's perfectly fine for keto, sugar free. Here we go. So what, so what I did was I just used a couple pieces of paper and I just poured it in uh, instead of having a funnel. So now we're going to close the lid on here. Make sure it's nice and tight. Said in the early video, just follow what I'm doing, you'll be fine. Uh, pancakes are one of those things where you can make them as thin or as thick as you want. And that's really what I like. And my thickness of pancakes I like. I'm going to get a piece of paper towel so I don't get any pancake mixture on the counter. And you just kind of like uh, turn that grill down to 350. And uh, to show you the... Uh, I'm going to flip the camera up a little bit so you can see what's going on. And hopefully when we uh, flip these... They won't uh, go all over the place. Now, I was told from a number of YouTubers that when you're doing pancakes, you wait till they start seeing little bubbles form around the outside of your edge and your pancakes, and that gives you an indication that they're ready to flip. And uh, hopefully, like I said, we'll get a good pancake flip out of them. But these are one of these things you just got to be patient with. And uh, the mixture came out really great. I'm really happy how it came out this time. And uh, I, I don't really need any more butter at this point, so I'm just going to set it aside. And maybe use that for a topping for a little bit. So these are one of these things like eggs. When you cook eggs, you just kind of have to be patient. Now I got the TV going in the back room right now. My wife's doing wash this morning. So what I, what I do is after they've been, I'll, I'll just go like this a little bit underneath to see see how close they are. Yeah, a couple more minutes on there, maybe a couple more seconds. And that one stays still got to cook a little while longer. We're just going to shove the uh, spatula underneath them real quick and flip them. Like I said, hopefully the batter won't 
go all over the place. Like I've had some accidents happen before in the past, but these are all part of processing and learning how to cook. All right, let's try this one. No promises. Here we go. Look at that, guys, huh? Donna, how's these look? Look at that. How do you do? Pea cakes? What? Check the time, brother. Okay, yeah. does that look good? Yeah, that was good. My couple? No. I'm gonna have something. I don't know okay. What. Oh, the spot in your pants came out. Okay. The spot on the placement no. came out a little bit, right, but well, it's light. Okay, well, we still use it. If it bothers me that much, yeah, then I'll allow well, it. Well, maybe when you go back to Walmart and you got money, pick up a couple. Yeah, I want to pick up a couple of different patterns. Okay. Okay, so at this point they've been fully cooked and I'm gonna flip them off the, uh, the pancake grill and I'm gonna continue to process. Let's take a look at the back side. Well, maybe we'll leave that cook a little while longer. Okay, welcome back to the channel. We're, we're in the uh, back room. We just got done making our uh, almond flour pancakes out of the amount that we had. I'm going to count how many uh, flapjacks we had and made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we made about eight of them. Now I'm going to take uh, one of them with my finger and put it up to the camera so you know how thick they are. So look at how thick they are. They're not that bad, about a quarter of an inch thick. And uh, you can tell they're nice and golden brown on both sides. So if you do that method how I did it, uh, you should be fine. So we're gonna, we did this, what we're going to do at this point, we're going to put a little bit of butter on it. Because pink, butter tastes good with everything with pancakes and it's perfectly fine with keto. I use about a tablespoon of butter, it's just like that. And uh, a little bit of maple syrup. Like I said, we don't need much because we uh, just sprinkle a little bit of that. This is off the taste, by the way. So what I did was I took some frozen, unsweetened blueberries and I uh, softened them up a little bit in the microwave for about a minute and a half. And you got to be careful you don't get blueberry all over the place. Just like this. Just drizzle your juice. The best part of all is the taste test. Well, let's see how they cut, first of all. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna have to uh, use my fork in my left hand and just uh, cut like that. 
we would be on a little bit of a triangle a little bit. Okay, and then remember one of these blueberries, where the whole thing is about one carbon gram, I believe, but according to the Joe Duff's uh, channel. So look at that, guys, huh? See? See how nice and thick they are? Oh my God. And they have a really good. It does make a difference with the blueberries. You don't really need a uh, the maple syrup if you do it this method. That's just extra sugar that I really didn't realize they didn't need. Because with the blueberries that are unsweetened, they got their own natural flavor to them. And they taste really good. I don't know if you knew this or not. But uh, blueberries are perfectly fine on keto. They're very keto friendly as long as you use the unsweetened ones. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, sharing is caring. But, uh, yeah, look at that, guys, huh? Mm. So, I'll give this the uh, thumbs up. So, have a great day, guys. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay vigilant. And like I said, remember, sharing is caring.